anti-Hindu forces, they claim that we have been brainwashed by Swamiji. In this video, I want to share one click I got about how this claim is completely uh, not adequate. I don't know if it is the right word. That claim is not right. This is why. Before I jump into this, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. People who are abusing uh, me, Sangha, Swamiji, um, they bring forward this thought current, which is we are not ourselves ourselves. Why aren't you yourself? Um, I'm going to tie in something else in this video. I've received many comments in the past in the videos and I've been approached by various people in various ways. And uh, one thing that happened uh, quite often in various comments and perhaps direct interaction is that people are like, oh, you're a good guy. You have great skills, great talent, you're great. But Swamiji is a fraud. You should dissociate yourself from Swamiji and be yourself. Yeah, that's basically what they're saying. So they're praising me and telling me that I should disconnect from Swamiji because Swamiji is, uh, is bad. And uh, if I associate myself to him, then uh, he's going to destroy me. So, the purpose for which you decide to go, at least one of the reasons why you decide to go on the spiritual path, why I decided to uh, become a disciple of Swamiji, and um, why people go towards um, the spiritual dimension or the... Um, to align their life more and more towards the spiritual truths is because, I'll speak for myself here, I want to cognize and to understand the depth of these spiritual truths. I've read Swamiji's books, I've listened to many of Swamiji's satsangs, and when he speaks, somehow my being feels that, yes, what Swamiji is saying is right. Sometimes it's logical, sometimes it's not logical. But in the depth of my being, I can feel, yes, that is correct, that is truth. So that is why I decided to follow. Now, sometimes people sing, oh, you guys are like speaking like Swamiji, behaving like Swamiji and saying the same thing Swamiji is saying. Why don't you have your own identity? Why don't you have your own... They basically, people, they want, yeah, they, they bring this kind of thought current forward. See, why, in, even in the videos that I'm making, why do I talk about Swamiji's teachings? Well, for the simple reason that Swamiji is my guru. Why is he my guru? Because who he is and how he is, is clicking with me. And I want to grasp more and more of that. My seeking... My, my prayerfulness, uh, my devotion is oriented towards I want to grasp more and more. I want to realize more and more the space in which Swamiji is operating, in which he is fully established. That is why, even in these videos, I talk about things that I've heard in satsangs, that I've listened to from Swamiji. Why? Because... I am chewing on these spiritual truths in order to extract the, to, to access the space from which these truths are manifesting. It is not about just repeating what Swamiji is saying. It is using that as a, is using that as a fuel for your seeking, for your devotion, for your surrender, for your prayerfulness to grow first in intensity and um, to start to realize the, 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 the context, the space from which these spiritual truths are revealed. 
So it's not about being brainwashed and just repeating. It's about, it's a quest, right? It's like you have a map and you have an X for the treasure on the map and you work towards that X. You walk towards that X. You work towards you reaching that X. That X is the spiritual truth that Swamiji is sharing. And the seeking, the prayerfulness, the devotion, the surrender is the space that needs to be cherished and intensified in order for me to act to reach that X, to reach that full grasping of that truth. And every time I have a click or I have a cognitive shift, I share about it. And I share about, you know, how I how it how this truth has clicked with me. Some truth have clicked with me in a stronger way, some have not uh, or less. And the seeking keeps going until you realize because Swamiji is always in the same space. If he reveals one truth which clicks with me and that I seek the sp and I seek the space from which the truth is revealed, it is from the same space space that another truth is revealed. So that's why seeking towards everything that Swamiji is saying is important because it all comes from the same space. If you're interested in that space, if you want to grasp that space and realize that space within yourself, then you should be constantly seeking towards what is Swamiji is sharing with us, what Swamiji is doing, how he behaves, how he responds, how he reacts, how he you know, shares, how he enriches. There's a reason why he enriches in the way that he's enriching. It is that space. So to grasp that space, you need to constantly explore the various dimensions that Swamiji is radiating, Swamiji is expressing, Swamiji is using to relate to us. Uh, and yeah, so it's not about being brainwashed. It's about having seeking, being on that quest and sharing this adventure towards experiencing more and more of Swamiji. And by the way, Swamiji is not a finite thing. Swamiji said in one satsang in the past, he himself does not know himself. So it is the romance with the unknown. Swamiji is the embodiment of the unknown. And relating to Swamiji, connecting to Swamiji, having devotion, seeking, prayerfulness, um, and all that towards Swamiji is nothing but relating with the unknown. So that's what I want to share in this video. Um, so don't necessarily feel uh, lost when, you know, people bring these ideas forward. They don't grasp the context or at, at least they don't want to grasp. They are not interested. So they have their own conclusion and they are copy pasting their conclusion onto people around them. And uh, that is not right. That is not, from, that is not a behavior that comes from the right space because we have to come back to that space of seeking, devotion, surrender, prayerfulness. Only then we, we, we radiate more and more of this space of nonviolence. When we are not in that space, we are violent in various ways. Some ways are more obvious, some ways are less obvious, but the intensity of the violence remains. And that is why we do not experience fulfillment on a daily basis. We do not experience an eternal fulfillment, eternal bliss, right? That is what Swamiji's name means. Nityananda means eternal bliss. We have to find a space where we are eternally fulfilled, not temporarily fulfilled or, you know, momentarily fulfilled, but eternally fulfilled. So, yes, don't get lost by that. Uh, the attacks, the abusers, they're doing what they're doing and they will, re they will, uh, what is the word? They will get the fruit of their space from the space from which they cherish. That is one of the, one of the clicks I got about karma, right? It's not just about action, but the space from which you engage with life, you, life will respond to you, will respond to you according to that space. And when life responds to you according to that space, you will not be able to digest life because it is uh, reflecting your own incompletion, which you are you have decided not to digest within yourself. So that's what I want to share in this video. Uh, thanking you for watching. Again, subscribe, click the bell icon to know when I upload. I upload many times a day. Check the description below. I have a lot of nice content, including becoming an Ishri Kailasavasi. If you want to become a spiritual citizen,
of Sri Kailasha, the greatest Indonesian that Swamiji is the reviver of, and, uh, and everything else in the comments. If you have any questions, if you uh, click with what I shared, great, please leave a comment below. And in another video I want to share also is why is Swamiji the solution for Hinduism? I know that's going to be a very uh, a topic which will be difficult to digest for some people, but uh, it is a very powerful uh, cognitive shift that I got and I want to share with you. So stay tuned, keep watching the videos and I'll see you in the next one. Didiano. She will